Tonight, we continue our extensive coverage of this tragedy, which claimed 17 lives on Thursday. The National Transportation Safety Board held a press conference today updating what it's found so far within that sunken boat. Our Jesse Inman joins us now after attending that meeting today. Jesse, what is the latest? Well, Heather, the NTSB says their teams have obtained some crucial information related to their investigation on safety regarding the sunken Ride the Ducks boat. On Saturday, Earl Wayner, a board member with NTSB, says they recovered a crucial item in their search, a black box with video from the camera on board the sunken Ride the Ducks boat. That is on its way to Washington, D.C., even as we speak, to be processed in the NTSB labs there dried out and as soon as it's available uh, in reasonable condition, we'll uh, read that out, analyze what the contents show us. The NTSB's investigation is centered around safety and a big part of their job is finding out how weather information was relayed. Ride the Ducks uses a weather subscription service. That information was available in the offices from what we understand. We want to understand how that information was passed on to people who made the decisions to go out at that time. Attorney General Josh Hawley attended the conference and explained the two separate investigations taking place. There are two investigations going on. There's the NTSB's investigation into safety procedures. And then there's the state investigation, the Highway Patrol's investigation into the circumstances of this situation. It's technically a criminal investigation because they need to determine was there criminal negligence, what exactly went on. The Highway Patrol has already released its findings that the cause of the accident was due to high winds. While the NTSB has not ruled on a cause, they say winds reach 73 miles per hour. Put that in context, hurricane force winds are usually considered starting at 75. Scott Stormer with the Coast Guard says they are working with Red the Ducks on a plan to get the boat out of the water, where it currently sits 80 feet under the surface. We expect and uh, are putting together the, the resources to affect that salvage. Uh, we're hopeful that that will happen in the early part of next week. Now, NTSB has also obtained records on inspections, certifications, maintenance, and incident histories on that sunken duck boat. When asked about life jackets being on the boat, the Coast Guard added that they are looking to see if Ride the Ducks followed their requirements for their operations and that the Coast Guard expects commercial mariners to make the best operational decisions they can based on the conditions that they expect to experience. Now, Attorney General Josh Hawley is now asking the public to reach out to authorities if you have footage of Thursday's boating incident. If you have a video that you have not yet shared with the Missouri State Highway Patrol, we strongly encourage you to do that. That would be a tremendous help to patrol officers as they conduct their investigation.